what's going on guys it is shooting up here and watch this spawn kill right here this is amazing watch ready oh my gosh oh my gosh oh my gosh oh my gosh that was actually a pretty cool spot right there i went back later in this game and i tried to do it again and you might tell you might not because i do speed up this gameplay because this is an extremely long game um it was almost 20 minutes actually got a ton of chopper gunners spawn killing the heck out of this team but um there was probably about three or four people on my team that probably could have gotten a hundred plus kills if the other team the um the losing team the getting raped on team did not shoot down our air support within like five seconds of it going up they had they must have had like three people shoot down air support because it was like you know our chopper guns would go up and they would fall down up and then they would go down and I do uh, take out the chopper gunners in this uh, video because I think I get three or four um yeah three or four chopper gunners a couple of, a lot of blackbirds um but it was actually pretty nice gameplay and the reason why this isn't this doesn't have a template there is one insanely special reason that I'm not putting the template on and that is because I just got my HTPVR like I don't know like five ten minutes ago dude came in the mail or dude um came to the door HTPVR I'm like oh, oh my gosh um so I got my HTPVR sitting about two feet away from me right now I'm about to hook it up but um I was gonna do this video for you guys today anyways but I might post up another one really soon with my HTPVR Oh man, I'm so excited! Uh, I love you guys. I think want to thank you for all of everything you've done um, in subscribing and rating, and you know that really does help a lot, especially the liking. Um, and you know, it really just makes me feel good. I guess whenever y'all do that and leave, you know, your comments and stuff. But I don't know. I'm just really excited about that. But that's not exactly what I wanted to talk about in this game. Um, if you notice, I have the flak jacket. Uh, perk and the tactical mask perk along with you know sleight of hand as the usual um and what i want to talk about is flat is flak jacket pro and or tactical mask pro worth it and you know what flak jacket pro does if you guys didn't know is um it pretty much just you don't die from napalm strikes and i'm pretty sure that's the only thing it does that's for the pro perk and you know I personally think that the Flak Jacket Pro is worth it to get the Pro Perk. You know, it's worth it to risk your life to go plant bombs and demolition and all this junk. Um, it's actually really easy. You gotta plant, I think it's 10 or 15 bombs and demolition search or whatever the sabotage. Um, you got or defuse them actually, or you can, um, you know, you gotta survive 10 explosives. I guess it's really easy to do. If you know you sit in one spot and you know just wait for people to throw grenades at you. And the last one is throwback five frag grenades. That's the only one I had trouble with, which is because I always forgot. Like somehow I'll throw me a frag grenade, and um, I would just forget to throw it back. I don't know what would go on. I know in this video I try to do it, and you know I do it too late to where it like blows up in my hand, uh, which which seems to happen to me a lot. Oh yeah. No, the uh, Flag Checker Pro, it also, whenever you throw back frag grenades, it resets the timer on the frag grenade. So, say they threw it, and they cooked it or whatever, and you pick it up, the uh, timer will reset. Um, it's not technically a timer, I don't even know how that's even possible, but, uh, the I don't know, the clip on it or something, I don't even know how they work, but... It'll reset to where you have a lot longer to throw it, and if you wanted to, you could cook it yourself. If you really wanted to, you know, get some payback revenge. Ha ha! You can't kill me. <laughs> oh man, that's great. Um, but anyways, Tactical Mask Pro. I, I, I don't know. Should I talk about Tactical Mask Pro now? No, no. <laughs> I'm thinking I'm gonna talk about Flight Jack a little bit more, as I fail that grenade throw right there. What what I want to say about Flag Jacket Pro is because it is so easy to get, um, it's not a really pain in the butt, you know, for firing range or Nuketown. I would strongly suggest to use that, especially in headquarters or demolition or domination. That is really good to use. And here I'm using it in demolition, but I was just trying to get the pro, so um, I could have switched it to like hardline or something. But you know, trying to get the pro, you gotta do the things you gotta do. But uh, Flag Jacket Pro, I just want to say it is worth it, guys, to get. And a lot of people say it is one of the, or is the best pro perk. 
along with Tactimize Pro. Um, and Flight Jacker Pro, it's up there, you know. Ghost is actually extremely good. Ghost is the best perk. And I would say Flight Jacket is the second, and then um, Hardline's the third. What's the other ones? I don't even know. Lightweight, something like that. All right, now getting into Tactical Mask. Um, tactical Mask Pro, if you guys, or Tactical Mask, if you guys didn't know, all it does, there's, it's just one thing it does, regular Tactical Mask, which is why nobody uses it. Um, I thought it was just, it's like a useless perk, I think. Um, regular Tactical Mask, all it does is protect you from Nova Gas, and see, like, those people keep spawning right there. It's like, this is an insane game of spawn killing, spawn trapping, and all that stuff. But, uh, all Tactical Mask, regular perk does is it protects you from Nova Gas. You don't get any hit markers on yourself whenever you throw it or you get hit by it but I guess unless you get hit by the actual tactical mask. Little frag thingy but <laughs> um that is all that does and it's really it's really quite sucky. Um I would much rather use Marathon or Hacker. Um but Tactical Mask Pro um you get like you you don't feel the full effects of a concussion grenade and or a flash grenade and again the um, Nova Gas grenade. Um, tactical grenade. They are called tactical grenades, right? I think. <laughs> I don't know. But um, that's pretty much all it does and you would think that it's it's not it's really useless but um, in like in the games if you're playing certain games the only time I would use Tactical Mask Pro is or the only time I have used it is in Search and Destroy because sometimes off the spawn people throw grenades and you know concussion grenades and um, if you have Tactical Mask Pro you know all it does like if you get a direct hit on you by a concussion grenade it's kinda like a hit marker on yourself and you, you kinda you're stunned for about a second and then it goes away and what I really think is uh, to make it more useful they shouldn't have even done a thing it should have been like oh excuse me it should have been like a hit marker and then nothing, you know, like you don't even feel any effects of it. Um, that's how I think it should be. But, um, you know, it really does take a long time to get. Whenever I was looking at the pro perk of it, you know, I was like, tw you gotta get 20 concussion kills, 20 uh, flashbang kills, and 20 Nova Gas kills. And, you know, I was like, oh, that's really easy and all this junk. And if you guys didn't know, the concussion grenade throws the fastest. The flashbang throws the second fastest, and then the Nova Gas, um, kind of useful, not that useful, um, throws really slow. It's the slowest one to throw, and you only get one of them, so that kind of sucks. And, you know, getting the concussion part of the challenge and the flashbang part of the challenge wasn't hard. You know, I just had to make my mind, you know, be like, you know, throw a concussion grenade, throw a flash grenade. I'm right here. I'm trying to do that little spawn thing again that dude runs by and it's like, you know, spawn, spawn, spawn. I don't know what if that would ever work, but, you know, that's just what I did. But, you know, the Nova Gas is what killed me. The Nova Gas took me forever because you didn't have to just kill somebody, like, wounded by your Nova Gas. You had to kill somebody in, like, actually in your Nova Gas. And you know, you know people, they don't want to stay put in something that's trying to kill them. Um, you know, that just doesn't work out for them, but... For me, the Tactical Mask Pro, I would say, does not weigh out, you know, the deaths that you get trying to throw, you know, get the Pro Perk, because I died a lot, you know, trying to throw Nova Gas to people and all that stuff, and, um, I think it took me a while, actually. I think that I probably died more trying to get it than I die, or I will die getting Tactical Mask Pro, and, you know, that's just what I want to say. You know, Flag Jacket Pro is worth it. You don't die from napalms, if even even if it's a direct hit, you know. You don't die from RC cars about half the time. They have to be a direct hit. But Tactical Mask Pro, you know, you still get stunned by stuff a little bit. And it is really hard to get. And, you know, that's just what I want to say to you guys. So I hope you enjoyed this, you know, giving you a little insight on Flight Jacket Pro and Tactical Mask Pro. And I would just advise you to get Flight Jacket Pro every prestige. You know, really help you out you know, the tight games. Um, Tactical Mouse Pro, not so much. So, I really hope you enjoyed this gameplay. Um, I'll have an HDPR for my next video. Heck yeah, man. Um, so, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to rate, because it really helps. And um, I'll see you guys later. Thanks. So